everyone and welcome back to Learning with Yagman X. I am no stranger to sharing with you the process behind my Unreal Engine creations. However, today we're doing things a little differently. I'm going to take you behind the scenes to follow me on a journey to create my next music video in Unreal Engine 5. A gaping mouth falls below your head Somewhere deep inside An echo says So, the song itself was actually based on a poem that I wrote quite a while ago, based around mental health and how it can manifest itself into a monstrous form sometimes. I have almost finished the song working with my producer Jamie at Horizon Productions. We finished recording all the vocals and the guitar pieces and he has done some stellar monster voice performances. If you want to check out Jamie at Horizon Productions there will be a link in the description down below. We've also messed around with changing audio from everyday sounds such as a bobblehead into something very uncanny, which fits with the otherworldly ambience of the narrative that I was going for. And when the song is almost done, that's when I know it's time to think about what I'm gonna do for the music video itself. Whenever I create anything in Unreal Engine, I always start with the constraints. So the constraints that we have here are time, which is until October the 31st, so around about three months. However, that's a free time, so it's probably more like a week, a few weeks, something like that. Uh, I also don't have an animator, I don't have an environment artist, I don't have people like this to work with. However, I do have Braden, who is more than happy to do simple uh, models for me as well as some art. So thank you, Braden. I did actually do a whole mood board on Twitch and a lot of you joined me there so thank you for thank watching you. and that was to try and get a feel for what kind of vibe we wanted for the music video. We ended up going for a kind of PS1 retro kind of vibe, think Siren or the old Silent Hill or Resident Evil games. This is because not only are they creepy, but also it's a little bit more attainable as it's only low poly models. And also it's just something that both myself and Brayden are interested in, as I really feel it's important when you have a team or you're working with other people to make sure that they also feel invested and are excited about the project that you're making. Once I'd figured out all of this, I started to put together a Google document of everything from the song, the narrative of the song, the mood board that was created in Twitch, and what we both wanted to get out of this music video. So first of all, I needed to find out a way that I could not only have low poly models and textures, but also how to have graphical errors, as that really is what makes the old PS1 games look quite uncanny and surreal. But lucky for me, I stumbled upon Retro Graphics by Marsis, and this had everything I needed to create an authentic old school retro game look. It has everything from dithering to depth errors and even allowing you options for fog and lens flares. I'll put a link in the description below for it if you would like to check it out yourself. I also knew that I wanted to insert myself into the music video because that's just something that I always do. And when we were doing our mood board, we looked at Siren and it really inspired me how they had created their character models' faces because they used images of real people as textures for the face. And this created a really super creepy effect that still holds up today. So the character model for the Siren characters are low poly and for the faces, they have just noses. Eight different camera angles will be used to take pictures of the actors doing different facial expressions. And then these will be used for textures to use on the model's faces. They would blend over one another to create this really awesome effect. 
I figured I might be able to do this in Unreal Engine using a flipbook material, which is something that I've done in the past uh, when I just did like 2D sprite animations. So that's the way that I'm gonna try. What I've done so far is basically prototyped a very crude character that uses a state machine to drive its different animations through an animation blueprint. These different animation states transition based on an enumerator, which can be controlled through a level sequence by making sure that the enumerator variable is exposed to cinematics. Upon a state change, the animation blueprint sends off a delegate, which the character blueprint itself binds to. This then updates a material on the face itself, depending on what the enumerator is. Or in my case, I've literally just used a sphere for now that is attached to the head bone. Doesn't look very good, but um, I'm getting somewhere. So my thoughts are that this is how I can easily change which flipbook material I'm using for the facial expressions along with what animation I'm using for the character itself through the level sequencer so I'll have full control. And that's enough technical jargon. So the next steps are for Brayden to create a low poly character model for me to then practice out giving it animations through using probably Mixamo and um, we'll also have to take some images of my facial expressions so I can try out turning them into textures and using them in the flipbook materials I have set up to see if this technique is actually going to work or not. And once I have a good idea of what I can do within Unreal Engine and what systems I have to be creative with, that's when I'll feel able and ready to do a storyboard for the music video. And from the storyboard, I can then let my artists know what low poly environment assets I'll need to create the music video. We still have a lot more work to do, but I'm pretty happy with the direction that we're going in. Do I think we'll get it done in time? I have not a clue, but I will try my best and that's all we can really do. So thanks for watching this update video. Maybe it was inspiring or interesting. I don't know, I just thought I would share with you the journey as I take it because there are many changes that get made along the way when you create something like this. Thanks a lot to my Patreons who help make this all a reality. Honestly, all of your support means so, so very much to me. And I will be sending you the demo of the song that we are working on so you can see the crappy demo version that I created in my bedroom. Enjoy that. And if you want to support in any other way, there is a little thank you button down there. So uh, if you want to, you can hit that, but it's completely up to you. And I, I don't like asking. So. <laughs> Have a lovely day or evening. I will see you in the next update video. Bye. Sorry, pardon me. Okay, it's getting it all out. <laughs> I can feel it in there, it's really annoying. I don't know.